Paula Silver. I think often women don't negotiate, they accept. I think all of us feel so grateful that somebody's offering us a job that we're almost willing to pay them. We don't say, we don't even do our homework to see who else is getting more, what, we don't do any of that. We just say, you want to hire me? Great. And we don't even ask what the pay is, often. And, uh, and we don't negotiate. And I think that women are not negotiators. I think that men are negotiators, and women are raised to believe that it's not feminine, uh, it's not the role of a woman to negotiate. Not to say that women aren't good negotiators. They probably are, and they probably are really good at dealing with a group of people, but asking an, authorita an authoritative figure for more seems impolite, and men have no difficulty. Women believe that, okay, I'm going to take this job, and I'm going to do it really well, and I'm going to be rewarded for doing a good job. And that's being blindsided. That's the idea of meritocracy. That's the idea that everybody is equal, that everybody gets paid equally. And I think in this generation coming up that they don't realize how hard it's been to get women through you know, the glass ceiling, uh, and that there is a glass ceiling, and that it's predicated on a lot of different things. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that men and women are different. And women can never be a man, and a man can never be a woman. You can try to put yourself in their shoes and try to think what they're thinking about, but I don't think that we can ever really disguise ourselves because you walk through the room and they say, she's a girl. Connect with me on jenconnect.com.